I, I give you this app to mm -hmm. test. Um, some preliminary uh, things. Um, let's assume you have already set it up, mm -hmm. linked it to your computer, to, your, to an account. Um, so you get time stamps already synced from your computer. Mm -hmm. Let's say uh, files you worked on in this app. And you can then um, add or edit <coughs> those timestamps and have mm -hmm. a look at your project. So, ah, okay. Is open. So did you guys catch that? He, he has a, a computer, a corresponding computer piece that does some of this work. So what he's looking at is a, at a mobile, mobile portion of a multi-device strategy for time tracking. Right? Everybody, everybody catch that? Okay, go ahead. So I, I look so at the start the, screen now? Yeah, so maybe. So you want to give him his task, right? So yeah, yeah. Y you want to check on something, or yeah. you want to... I, I assume you, you can check on your latest uh, timestamps, and then, maybe because you just worked on something, add a new timestamp to it. Perfect. So that's, he, he gave him his context, and mm -hmm. he gave him his task. So off you go. Okay. I see uh, timestamps and projects, two buttons uh, which I, I recognize. I could probably go to projects as well, but since I recognize the wording, I would just uh, tap on timestamps. Great. Okay. So, All right. Uh, I'm not sure about the transition yet, but maybe you mm -hmm. this comes in. <laughs> Great. Okay, I see um, a timeline which l looks like uh, looks sort of familiar because I know this kind of display from the calendars. I use so it's today and I, I think um, what I see is the projects or the times I've been working on yes. on, on stuff um, I think I have I have something undefined so I would have to, to, to edit something perhaps yes that's right but otherwise I've been working for Cisco a nice client Mobix very difficult one <laughs> and uh, <laughs> <laughs> one and so, and I, I'm supposed to um, to edit something now. Yes. Oh, you, can, you can add a new timestamp yeah. or edit. Uh, so one. yeah, give, at this point you want to give him a task. Yeah. Which which one well, do you want him to, to edit? To, to add a new timestamp. Okay, so I will probably. Scroll yeah. Or what? Swipe um, down yeah. One of the things you want you want to do, in, and this is actually a general. Everybody does this. Uh, so d don't. Don't. Don't don't take the, it. Yeah, yeah. Because if you give him the name on the button. Then it becomes a kind of search and destroy, as uh, as my, my my old boss used to say. So <laughs> you want to say you want to give them a general description of the task, but not the exact wording on the button. Yeah. So so maybe you worked on something and you would like to enter it in, in your perfect perfect timeline. nice recovery. Oh okay, um, it's not in the timeline yet. No, you just finished. Yeah. Work, work okay. On this. Nice. So it's a it's a new subject. I go to add new timestamp. So the next thing which would happen, you would get uh, the screen. Great. Okay, thanks. Yeah, notice how he said it, right? That's that's exactly exactly right. You just get the screen. Yeah, don't 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 explain it. Don't over don't overdo it. Perfect. And um, I see the other projects I'm I've been working on today, and I could enter my new project description over here. I guess I would yes, write so the description. You would do this. this. You would maybe get the keyboard. Ah, perfect. Nice, so. nice. <laughs> So I can type the task and the description over there and OK it? So at this point, you may want to ask them what's in the description, what's in a task. Mm -hmm. Is this the right order of the fields? Yeah. Also, I'm a little confused about why the other clients are showing when I'm entering this, this thing. Okay. Um, this actually goes right back to you know, only ask them what you need, only show them what, what they need. They need two fields. Maybe they just need one. Mm. Uh, description is optional, but it doesn't say that it's optional. In fact, it's first. Yes. So I would flip the two um, and, and just say task name. And then now it becomes, do I want this to be a form or can I just enter it as part of, you know, just give them sort of an overlay and say, oh, the plus changes to a task name. So I can do it more, a little more contextually. Okay. But that's worth, it's worth testing. I don't know what the answer is. Maybe he needs a description, maybe he doesn't. I definitely would not put it first, however. Yes. Um, but maybe it's different. Maybe your description yeah, is maybe project. It's, it's also the, the and the task. Yeah. Wrong word. 
or the I yeah the yeah exactly record. that's so the, you would have like a project name and the, the task would be wireframing yes you oh, can okay. yes yeah. see I, I I don't know if he understood that so you want to probe like what goes what would you type in there that's yes. a good yes. that's a good question mm -hmm. to ask what would you enter in this yeah. field yeah. even even better the more general what would you enter rather than what would you type yeah because maybe he's going to speak it in fact with the new ice cream sandwich you can speak and it will by speaking enter into into the field yeah, yeah. so yeah we're That's a good point. we're in a different different area so did you wonder why there are already some uh, uh, client names yeah a little bit but I, I realized i could type the new one at the top of your application but ah uh, it yes. sort of irritated me a little bit okay okay see see he's I think I think one interesting thing is he could have picked a client. I don't think it made it clear. Do you want to pick a new client or do you want to create a new client? Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. This is exactly where you want to split it up, perhaps, and have a list of clients first, or add a new client. Yes. Right. And then, and then from there, go to the next one that would be a project name. So you would have something like select yeah. client, and then you would add new one or. Present yeah. them a list of available clients. Yes. But put it uh, on the other screen. Uh, I would Set start with down. a list of available clients, and the very first entry on the top would be new client. Would be new client. Type a new client or pick from a list. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And then have it be a kind of a different. Um, so pick from the list is one touch, mm -hmm. and on the top is a um, new client. So if you scroll, yeah. maybe the new client scrolls off the screen, maybe not. Maybe it's just scrolling the, um, mm. the list of clients, and I realize I don't have this client yeah. anymore, so I don't have to scroll Actually, back up. Actually, the application I can just doesn't enter have it. this feature right now to add a new client. It just get presented a list of already ah. entered clients, projects you worked on. It comes with clients. <laughs> it comes with clients. Yeah, because it's Who perfect. wants this out? Please. I need it. Me, I will pay, yes. Five free clients. I will pay good money. Five free clients. <laughs> so, so I think here again, it's kind of... Um, uh, you don't know because on the first screen you you had a list of projects that were active. Yes. But maybe there's a, this project is already existing. Yes. So it, there's it no is. way. Yeah, I think there's no way to pick that project from a client. So you want to pick a client first, then show the list of projects, then, I'm, and then you I'll, I'll able those. to add a new yes. one. Yes. Okay. See, notice, notice if he were to build this in some other way, uh, this is a perfect example where. You know, the whole thing needs to be redone, but it's very easy to redo it. Mm -hmm. It would take him exactly five minutes, maybe less, to redo the whole thing and test it again. So the next person he's going to be jumping in with is going to have a lot of that uh, baked in.